You ready to upcycle this cannon to an adorable Rudolph? Let's do this. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy. If you didn't know, and if you did, thanks so much for coming back. All right, so we start with this can, and I used a smooth edge can opener. I paint both the lid and the can itself with some chalk paint. This is a brown chalk paint. Let it dry. Then I have this bell from Dollar Tree, and I just smush it. I just pressed it so that the bottom would be flat. Then I draw two little ovals and then paint them in. I'm just using a black paint. You can use chalk paint if you want. This is just a regular chalkboard paint, I think. And then I use the back of this um, pencil and I dip it in some white paint and then I'm gonna put a couple little pupils in our little Rudolph's eyeballs. Look at how cute this is already. It just makes a perfect circle. You'd have to use a brand new pencil, obviously. If you use one that you use the eraser, it's not gonna be as nice. Um, and then I did a couple extra underneath that and then we're going to glue our bell look at how cute already now we're going to use a posca marker and i just did a line and a little like circle at the bottom of it and it just gives them this cute little whoop, kind of face next i'm going to use some wired jute and if you could get the stuff from dollar tree you wouldn't have to do this part but i didn't have any so i'm just using this thinner gauged one and i i think it was about 24 inches long then I fold two ends in, so the total right now with it folded, it's about 12 inches. So I fold it and then I twist it on itself. So now it's going to be one big piece, okay? Then we're gonna take that big piece and I'm just going to curl it around this dowel and you could use a spoon, anything. I'm only gonna do part way and then you're gonna do the other side part way. You wanna make sure that you have one, the center, you want it to be flat because that we're gonna glue to the lid. I know, crazy, right? It's gonna be good. So I just adjust it a little bit, however you want your, these are gonna be the antlers. <laughs> so adjust them however you want. Then I put some glue on my can, on the can lid, <laughs> not on my can. Stop, okay, shh, it's, it's okay. <laughs> I put the glue on. I made sure to keep it there for just a hot minute. And then I put a little bit more glue on just to make sure that it stayed. Then I have these pieces of fabric. Um, I don't know how long they are, probably four inches long and maybe an inch wide, if that. And all I'm doing is crisscross applesauce. That's all we're doing. We're making a messy bow because you know that's my jam. If it's not, then you can make a regular bow or you could just buy a pre-made bow. That would work too. But I love the look of this. So we're just gonna crisscross applesauce as many as you feel, you know, like however thick you want it. Um, and I wasn't really crazy about making sure that everybody was even. Then I took a piece of jute and I just tied it in the center. I did pinch it a little bit before, you know, like pinch the fabric together a bit before I tied it. And then I tied in a knot. And then for me, again, I like mine really messy. Um, so once I get done tying it, I give it a good shake. And then I rub it in between my hands to really get those fibers to really kind of fray. Awesome. And then we're going to take some more glue, put it on top of our antlers, on top of that lid. And we're going to glue our messy bow. And friends, that's it. Now we could put candy in it. We could put treats. We could... All right, candy is what we usually do, right? But you could put you could put it on your desk and put like erasers or paper clips. Oh, this is so cute. Look at his little face. Anyways, friends, thanks so much for joining me and I hope this inspires you.